for the final countdown. The show starts in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I love you too, babe. I love you. I love you too. I love you too. I know I love you. I love you. <laughs> now, welcome to HDTV. You are rocking with your boy. I had to do it again. Thank you, man, for the countdown, sir. Thank you. Now, we are having our second annual BIA award show. You know, we are having it for a lot of the BI itches that, you know, we love to give that to. Now, for the first B.I. It's Award. Can I get a drum roll, please? Drum roll. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I love this. I love this. I like to give it to the NFL. The NFL, everybody, yeah. The NFL gets the BIH award. They get this award. Not only do they get this award, they are cowards as well. You guys punished the whole NFC West <laughs> to let the Kansas City Cheeks pull it out. Tell me, do we love the Kansas City Cheeks? Do we love those Cheeks over here, guys? Do we? Do we? Hold on. Oh, do we? Oh, 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 man. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Now, you NFL screwed everybody in the NFC. <laughs> No, excuse me, the AFC West. So Patrick Mahomes can now look like, oh, the Chiefs are back. They are back. They are in contention to do something. But this is what I'm saying. You guys still aren't noticing that. How are they back? You forcibly gave all these penalties to the Raiders. It was like a, a flag fest. Every time I looked up, the Raiders were getting called back after they got a good yardage. Now, all of a sudden, you got all of us believing the Kansas City Chiefs are really an official team. You know, and, and it's like, look, I give respect to C-Pen. That's his squad he's going to represent. But if I see BS, I'm going to call the BS out. We know what happened yesterday. Now, granted, the Broncos are up and down. Granted, the Chargers can't close. So, hey, they both fell under their circumstances. But the Raiders to get blown out like that, I know Derek Carr is, is garbage. And Derek Carr's career, um, what happened to him yesterday? Yes, sir. It has flatlined. So, but I give you your respect. You guys won and everything. You know, y'all won. Um, Y'all did what y'all had to do. But the NFL, you guys screwed up. Not only did you screw up with that, you guys screwed up by not showing Cam Newton on a national TV game. Why didn't y'all do that? Huh? Why? Do, do we got any love for the NFL? Y'all were showing some whack games in other areas. <laughs> What's going on? Right. Throw a tomato at Roger Goodell. Now, <laughs> you guys have been disrespectful to Cam. Cam is back. He has done everything. He had the low haircut, no tattoos, 
has been a great father to his kids, has been nothing but a great spokesperson for the league. But you know what you bums did? You bums punished him. When he took the googly moogly, you guys still were trying to punish him. Until the Carolina Panthers found out that Sam Darnold's career, it went... It's done. <laughs> it's done. So, congrats to Cam yesterday. Congrats to the Kansas City Cheeks. CPN, y'all survive another week. But, hey, we'll see how you guys are next week. Now, now this is going to be our, um, our um, second B.I.H. Award. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. So, this is my second BIH award. Can I get another drum line, please? Getting the next award in the BIH, the second annual BIH award, it goes to John Rittenhouse's trial. Come on. Clap for that. Clap for that. Now, you guys basically have disrespected Ahmaud Arbery, basically trying to make a case for why he was being killed. You showed some footage in his trial of him looking at an abandoned house or something, which he really didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't do anything. He was just there. But John Rittenhouse, which says that you're not allowed to carry a weapon in the state of Wisconsin unless you are 18 or above, I believe, because it's 21 and above where he's from. It's 18 and above where he's at, where he was at, where he got found for the crime. The judge and jury are trying to basically paint him as a sympathetic figure. Are we cool with that? Are we? Yeah, you in the back. How do you feel? This dude here with a fake cry. <laughs> I did. I did. Faking the whole time, but all white America's like, oh my God, look at that child. That poor, poor child. That piece of skin tone, it's going to waste. No, you guys are going to waste. It continues to show the double standards of the law. And you guys continue to mess up. So, to the judge and to the people that's trialing Ahmaud Arbery, this is how I feel about all of you guys. Flatline. Now, for the next B.I.H. Award, can I please get a drum, Mr. Tank? Can I get a drum roll? Wow! And the next B.I.H. Award goes to Baker Mayfield! Yes, sir, Baker Mayfield! Baker. Now, you guys wanted to blame it all on Odell, but we have been telling you that this B.I.H. cannot quarterback. He is trash. He's been overrated. He's the typical white guy who can throw the ball deep, and he's everybody's favorite. He got all these commercials, and he hasn't lived up to none of them. But yet, Skip Bayless finds time to you know, basically cover for him, tell him that it's okay, you know, it's his team, it's Odell. Odell wasn't there yesterday, what happened? What happened? Was Baker Mayfield good yesterday, crowd? I don't know how these guys get in here just ooh, like this. It's just, it's just so, just so, so nice. I love it. I love it. 
You went into New England, lost to a younger quarterback. You lost to a team that you were supposed to go in and beat. Like I told you guys, Baker Mayfield is what we call fool's gold. He's never been that great. He's a guy who always has been carried by the running game. He's that type of quarterback. So, Baker Mayfield, you and the Browns, and your quarterback career thus far is... Mm, I love it. I love it. Flatline. Flatline. It's, it's just beautiful. Now, for the next B.I.H. Award, can I get a drum roll, please? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 this goes out to the media. Come on, keep clapping. Keep clapping, y'all. Keep clapping. Now, you guys are getting upset and blaming Russell Westbrook for the reason why you guys are losing. Are we cool with that? Are we cool with that? Hey, Jay. Jay, tell, ask him over there. Are we cool with that? Man, tough crap. Tough crap. Now, you guys blew a 20-point lead. <laughs> Y'all been blowing all these leads, but yet you want to blame Russell Westbrook. How about we blame that one guy? Hold on, guys. Let me get another drum roll. Cottonelle Davis! Yeah, boo, boo that man. Boo him. Boo him. Not only are we booing you, we're booing the NBA too. Go ahead. Oh my goodness. Throw the tomato at Silver Slipper. Throw it at him. Throw it at him. If he bobbing weed, keep throwing it at him. Keep throwing it at him. Keep booing him. Keep booing him. Stop playing. Having sound effects issues. My bad, y'all. So now, Anthony Davis was voted in the top 75, which I disbelieve he's not a top 75 player. More like top 120. <laughs> so he's put in that category when this guy cannot carry a team. He proved to you in New Orleans he couldn't carry a team. He proved to you he's too brittle. Down the stretch, he comes up small, but yet he gets a pass. Russell Westbrook has been brought over to be nothing more than what? What, what are we calling him? He's nothing more than a scapegoat. And now, since Russell Westbrook joined the Lakers, how has his career been, you guys? Oh, man, that's that's terrible. Terrible, terrible. 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 So, that has been the show. And I hope you guys, you know, um, you know, enjoyed it. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it, you know. But when Josh, you know, but we're going to have to go next week. We'll have some other people. We'll have some other people on. So this has been your boy. D's. Fair you sack. Fair you sack. Thank you for coming to the second annual B.I.H. Award. Everything done by Welcome to HDTV. We out. Fair use act, by the way. Shout out to everybody who made this happen. Thank you guys for being supportive of the HD show. And next week, we will have the third annual B.I.H. Award. So we are out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash after me at the word welcome. 
the number two, and an HDII TV. Thank you all for listening, and we are out. Dizzy!